Hello, AOS fans, Robin here, I'm back with our new segment, Five Reasons to Read. Uh, and uh, so I'm going to be looking at different books, giving you five quick reasons to read them. And here we go, this week's book, this book is Upside Down. This book is The Wrong Way Around. This book is Mary Lou, uh, Batman Nightwalker which is the second book in the DC Icon series. I reviewed the first book, uh, written review, uh, which is, I think, Warbringer, uh, about Wonder Woman uh, by uh, Lee Bodugo. This one is Mary Lou. It's about Batman, Nightwalker, set in when Bruce is a teenager. Here are five reasons why you should read it. Number one, it's about Batman. Yes, Batman, Enduring Hero. I think everybody sees something they like in Batman or can understand his story, understand his motivations. This is about Batman, and therefore that is a good reason to read it. Number two, it's an origin story, but it doesn't include that origin story. Yes, the uh, Batman origin story has been told to death, uh, as we know. And uh, obviously, Mary Lou can't get over it. Marie Lou can't get away from it. It's only mentioned a little bit. Um, it doesn't really impinge on the story very much, although obviously it's always there. But what she does do is she looks at other things that are going on in his teenage life, just as he was about to become a man. What else might have turned him into uh, the Dark Knight? And that's a really interesting uh, thing to do, and she does it really well. So more about the origins of Batman without dwelling on the shooting of his parents, which I think is brilliant. Number three, it's a great riff on the Dark Knight theme. So the Dark Knight, the duality of Batman, sits, sits behind everything that he does, really. Uh, is he a villain? Is he good? What motivates him? What drives him? All that kind of stuff. Um, and what Mary Lou, Marie Lou does in this book is that she, um, Bruce ends up talking to uh, this is a suspect in a case, the Nightwalkers uh, sort of group of villains. And she talk, he talks to one of those, sort of, was she a mastermind? We don't know if she's an underling, if she's a mastermind. And, but we do know that her circumstances aren't that dissimilar to Bruce's. And it's sort of looking at, well, what's the difference between a criminal and a, and a good guy, freedom fighter, vigilante, uh, terrorist, freedom fighter, that kind of thing. And if Bruce wonders whether if he was in her position, whether he would, you know, what, how would people view him? He's a billionaire. It's much easier to get away with things if you're a billionaire. Uh, so that's an interesting uh, riff on that Dark Knight theme, which I really liked, and it's very strong in the book. Reason number four is that uh, the book takes place in Arkham, Gotham City, one of the most iconic settings for any of the of any of comic book story anywhere ever, uh, whether it be Marvel, DC, whatever. Gotham City is incredibly evocative. It's an absolute great creation and possibly the most evocative place in the whole of Gotham is of course Arkham Asylum and, and this oods that oods, this exudes menace, oozes menace, uh, this sort of dark, horrible, stony uh, asylum where it's sick with the criminally insane. And you've kind of got all the history of who or may or may not be in there. Obviously this is pre the Batman stories, but who is in Arkham? Every time we talk to somebody, you think, oh what's gonna you know, is it, are we gonna get some sort of clue? And that whole thing kind of it just it's that menace that sort of just seeped into the whole book and I think it's really great. So number four is that uh, Arkham Asylum features heavily. <laughs> number five, the last reason for reading is, is that it is a thriller. Um, there's lots of thrills in here. It's really good to read. There's plot twists, um, there's, there's setups, there's double crosses. Uh, we, we, the, the Madeline, the, the uh, counterfort to, to Bruce in this story, we don't quite know what, what she's at, where she's at, whether she, is she tricking Bruce, is she helping him? Is she doing both? Uh, is there more to her story? All those things gradually kind of tie together to a big finale, uh, and I think um, it's well worth reading for that. Um, the uh, the denouement is, is pretty exciting, and I think uh, Marie, Marie Lou uh, builds tension beautifully, uh, and then just letting it, whew, well, I won't say, uh, setting up sort of for whatever happens to Bruce next in his life. So that uh, is a good thriller. It's a good thriller, well worth reading. So. They are the five reasons for reading uh, Mary Lou's Nightwalker. Um, I would thoroughly recommend it. I'd thoroughly recommend the other book in the series, uh, Libra Dugo's Wonder Woman, and hopefully I'll be able to bring you Catwoman by Sarah J. Maas, an author I've heard of but never read. I'm not so excited about that one, Catwoman, but maybe it'll be great. Who knows? We'll definitely read it, we'll see. But this one, I'm a big Batman fan. Um, well worth reading. Um, so, yeah, enjoy that. 
uh, do 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 enjoy that do uh, follow this um, and we'll be on twitter uh, there's five reasons to read do subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed this there we do some games but we're going to be doing these five reasons to read hopefully more and more of them as i get the time to read so please if you enjoyed it give us a thumbs up if you want to see something different then uh, put in the comments whatever uh, if you've read any other great batman novels i don't know any other great batman novels or whatever then do let me know or any other great superhero novels do let me know in the comments below I'd be fascinated to read them uh, but that is for now Ma marie Lou's batman nightwalker Thank you.